Hey Margaret, thanks so much for joining me this afternoon. You're welcome. Uh, explain to me you know, your experience around commercial property investing prior to coming to PMG uh, is a good way to sort of set the scene. I was always interested in commercial property. I realised I didn't have the expertise, the next work, network to do it myself. Mm. Having been bitten once, quite badly, I did a huge amount of... Um, due diligence. Due diligence, yep. yep. Having that first experience with you, you over-delivered. You certainly delivered what you said mm. and more. We're very upfront with your communication. You told us what was happening. Um, I didn't feel um, in any way threatened by your sort of doing devious things behind mm. my back like mm. the other outfit. And as the years have gone by, I think it must be six or seven years since we started investing with you, you've delivered. You've, mm. you've delivered. So we say we've delivered um, from a performance perspective, from a people perspective, from a, you know, all encompassing, I mean. I like the fact that you've got time if I ring you up and I say to Matt, how's things going? And you probably might not want to talk to me, but you always have, you always have time for I will me. Say, I have to allocate <laughs> about 40 minutes for our conversations, Margaret. Uh, so. Yeah, but you keep me informed. Sure. And if I'm not sure of some, some things or whatever, um, I forget things. Yeah. You was there on the end of the phone. So having that dedicated sort of uh, investor rep is quite important. Oh, to absolutely, you. absolutely. Yeah. One thing that really did impress me with PMG, I came up to one of your AGMs in Chowranga mm. fairly early on in the piece when I just started investing with you, and you had a lot of obviously bad, plenty of people there that had been investing since the start, yeah. twenty five years ago. And they were all so complimentary of what PMG had done for them. And that gave me a huge amount of confidence. Sure. Because it's nothing like somebody, a fellow investor, mm. to tell you the truth. On that topic of performance, um, because we've talked a bit about sort of the qualitative factors, so what makes PMG good, a strong business around relationships, both with investors and tenants. But what about the quantitative side? So, you know, the actual return numbers relative to you know, other things in your portfolio or relative to your expectations uh, with regards to our product? I mean, when I invested, we knew what the returns would be. But since then, we've had a capital appreciation on mm -hmm. the original shares. So we've had a um, capital appreciation plus, um, in my eyes, very good returns. Farming's uh, gone through some tough times in the last 12, 24 months. Uh, we don't need to delve into the reasons for that, but you know, that's been the case. Um, without that commercial property exposure, how would you sort of be feeling or, or reverse that? Do you feel much better because of that commercial property exposure? It gives me the reassurance that I've got an income coming in other than the farming income. My husband and I know we've got that money coming in from PMG, which is quite substantial every month, every three months. Sure. And it's not related to the farm and I don't mix the two. On a sort of lighter note, Three words to describe, uh, say, PMG's business. Um, openness, um, quality, quality investments. That's three, I'll give you one more. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it makes me feel secure in my investments. Perfect. That's great. Hey Margaret, thanks so much for your time this afternoon. It's great to have really good people down here uh, in Canterbury, in Christchurch, Rangiora. Now these areas that, um, you know, sort of traditional sort of farming areas uh, that support our business as we sort of develop and grow uh, a more sort of national reach. So once again, thank you very much for all your, uh, you know, your hard um, and strong support over the last few years. And um, thank you for taking the time with me this afternoon. No, and thank you. You know, you're a great company and I'm not quite sure where I would be without you, but yeah. <laughs> thank Fantastic. you. Yeah. Thank you, Margaret.